Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is I, the Family Car Guy. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Corvette ZR1, the 2019 Corvette ZR1. We now know significantly more information about it. Chevrolet has officially released the car on their website and you can get all the information there. I'll put some links in, in at the end of this, uh, in, the, in the description of this video. But uh, my plan was, if you guys saw my a uh, couple videos back where I was talking about, uh, my plan was when that article leaked in Car and Driver, to be at the LA Auto Show with my wife and, and doing kind of some live footage of, of the car in person. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, but I did want to talk about it because now we know uh, a lot more information, as I said. So the question I'm asking myself and I'm asking you guys is, is the Corvette ZR1, the 2019 ZR1, a great deal? Is it the same that supercar bargain? I would say it depends, it really depends. Um, when I think about it, so the price is, a hair under 120 grand uh, for the coupe, and then also for the convertible, it's it's somewhere in the neighborhood of I think it's 124 grand, a hair under 125 thousand dollars. So you think about that, you get 755 horsepower, you get 715 pound feet of torque, you get 600 pound feet of torque available at two, uh, 2200 RPM, you get the 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 eight speed automatic from the Z06, or you get the seven speed. They're basically the same transmissions. That's what I've seen so far. Um, but you get way more aero. I mean, the, the aero on the on the on the ZR1 is actually better than the Z07 package on the Z06. So uh, you get the 13 heat exchangers. You get way more cooling, which obviously was a problem when the Z06 first came out. Um, so you get that. Now you think about that though in context. So the Z06 is still putting out 650 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque, supercharged V8, right? So you have that. You have a car that is already doing zero to sixty in basically three seconds if you get the if you get the um, the eight speed auto. Um, you get a car that already has uh, great track performance. Obviously, it's it's there's other cars out there that are better, which will always be true about every car. But at the end of the day, the Z06, especially when you look at used car prices, I mean, you're looking at Z06s that are sixty five, seventy five, you know, for not that many miles on them. Um, that to me, you know, thinking about like videos I've seen, for example, Rob, Rob Ferretti did a video similar to this and I was, I kind of, I was definitely found myself agreeing with him. How much more is, you know, the cooling worth? You got to add the cooling, right? If you're going to see a lot of track duty, which I'm imagining, at least for me, like if I was going to buy a 2019 ZR1, I would absolutely be tracking that car. But so if you have an issue like that with the Z06, it's the same thing. You add cooling, you know, how much more is it going to cost you to do uh, performance mods on the Z06 to get it to similar power figures? So when you're talking about brand new cars, I would agree that the ZR1 is probably um, a, still a supercar bargain. But at the end of the day, if you are already a Corvette owner or you're thinking about getting a, a Z06 or even the previous generation ZR1, which is putting out 638 horsepower, uh, and it has also great performance numbers and you also get the the, the um, performance traction management you get the, the suspension mods those types of things um, so there those are all the things to consider you know and the other thing I think about is stand you know sitting right behind me is you guys see my 2006 Corvette Z06 and is it on the same level as either the, the C7 ZR1 or even the C7 Z06 no it's not but is it a performance bargain? I think so. I mean, this car, and I'll make a video on this, you know, uh, in, in the coming weeks, but my car, I paid, I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly, I think it was 25, 26 grand for this car. And this car has 505 horsepower. Uh, I've seen many videos of um, some, I don't want to say basic mods, but mods that altogether cost maybe, maybe 10 to 15 grand. So I do that in this car, I'm at 40 grand. Let's just say, and I've got a car that can run low tens. I got a car that you know is producing well over 600 horsepower uh, at the crank. So when I think about in terms of just even just if we're staying with Corvettes, is the ZR1 a performance bargain? Well, it depends. If you're comparing it against McLarens, you're comparing it against GTRs, or you're comparing it against uh, Porsche 911 GT3s and, and things like that, then maybe, you know, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't know. Would I love to have one? Absolutely. Well, if I get a chance to drive one, will I jump on it? Absolutely. And, and I think as, as, as car enthusiasts, we all should, right? I mean, 
I think the Lamborghini Aventador, even though it's one of my favorite cars, is I, I definitely think it's not a very good deal. I mean, the, the Lamborghini Huracan is 250000 and it's nearly as fast, right? I mean, we're talking like tenths of a second slower than the Aventador, right? But the Aventador costs $400,000. So in the grand scheme of things, at the end of the day, it's it's semantics. Do you do you care or not? But if we're gonna act, if we're if we're gonna make a, a numbers comparison, I do think we need to consider the full picture of, you know, what is what am I getting for my money and and bang for buck, right? Because at the end of the day, and we we think about like the, I, I think about like Fast and Furious One, where you have the the Ferrari, what was it the 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 Ferrari uh, 360, I think it was. Uh, the black one, and then you had uh, Paul Walker and Vin Diesel in the, in the green Supra, and, and or the orange, I'm sorry, the orange Supra, and, and how much money you got in there? More than you can afford, right? And then they smoke them, right? So it's the whole idea of what, what do you value? You know, what's what's most important to you in terms of how, how far can you stretch your money? I mean, even my C4 over here, which, you know, here we go, yeah. got the C4 in the picture. All right, so, so we got the C4, so I mean, even this car, I mean, I've seen um, I've seen very affordable builds where this car gets up over 500 horsepower and is it going to touch anything that's in the uh, what would I consider to be supercar territory? No, but is it good bang for buck? Yes, it is. So it's all relative at the end of the day. I think it comes down to what can you afford? What's your price point? What are your priorities? Do you want to build a car? Uh, do you care about that kind of thing? Do you want to buy a car that basically right out of the factory it's ready to go and, and be on the track? So I think it all it comes down to your priorities. Um, and then also we heard about, you know, we've heard rumors of the, the C8 and more information is leaked about the C8. We've heard that the, that it might come out as early as 2020, you know, or in 2019 being released as, as a 2020 model. So there's different things that, you know, that, that are even leaking about that car. It might have three different engines. I don't, I'll, I'll probably have to go back and, and do more research on that. But I've, I've heard some things about that car as well. That's, that's very interesting. So. How much is that car going to cost when it comes out? Is it going to be two hundred grand? Is it going to be one hundred and fifty grand? I mean, who, what, what are the performance benchmarks that 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 Corvette is going after uh, as it builds the the C eight, the first mid engine Corvette, right? So, and what is that going to do to Corvette prices? So, again, all relative. Let me know your com your thoughts. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments. Uh, I've got plenty more content coming for you guys. Um, Hope you guys had a great holiday, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.